Did you know that Discord is releasing a new type of channel called Stage Channels? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage and enable this new Discord feature in your server. In fact, I've leveraged this new feature for my community server, and we've been able to amaze and engage our users. By the way, I make videos about Discord, and if you want to stay up to date about the latest Discord tips and tricks, I'd recommend hitting the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you can stay up to date with whatever's going on. Without further ado, let's get into the video. On March 31st, 2021, Discord dropped a new type of voice channel called Stage Channels. Now, Stage Channels are really cool because they allow your Discord server to host audio-only events in a new updated way. Rather than having to struggle with itty-bitty permissions on a voice channel, you can now have a Stage Channel that has a group of moderators or speakers and then everybody else is over in the audience and you don't need to worry about giving them the right permissions permissions, muting them, making sure they can hear you because everything is just in one convenient place. Further, stage channels have really cool features like the ability to actually raise your hand just like you would in, for example, a Zoom call and the ability to hoist at the top of your Discord server so that people can see your event and join in. So there's a lot of possibilities with the stage channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually create a stage channel for yourself and start hosting those cool audio only events. So as you can see here, I'm in my Discord server called the YouTube Creator Cafe. And if you want to test out stage channels, get a C for the audio types of events we do, make sure you join. The invite is discord.gg slash YouTubers. Anyway, I'm over here on the stage called the creator stage. And let me really quickly delete this channel and recreate it so you can actually see how this works. So once we press create a text channel, you'll see that there's a couple options. So we can actually select stage channels and this is a voice channel for listening to invited speakers. So I'm gonna name this something random like carrots. So the stage channel will be created. We can go ahead and join in. As you can see, it won't actually show the users who are in it. It'll only show the people who are listening, which is pretty interesting. So after we join in, we can see what we're gonna be chatting about. So for this, I'm also gonna type in carrots. So as you can see here, this is the new stage channel interface, which is really awesome. At the top over here, you'll see the stage moderators who have this little icon. And there's a couple permissions you need in order to be listed as a stage moderator. And I'll be talking about that in a little bit. But once you created this, you'll see that there's a couple of options here. You can move yourself over into the audience and here you'll just be a, a listener or you can move yourself as a speaker. And once you're a speaker, everybody who's sitting in the audience over here will be able to listen to you talk. On the right hand here, you'll see that there's a little icon that says request to speak. So just like you would in a Zoom call, for instance, people can actually raise their hands and request to speak. So here I'm gonna accept this user's invite to become a stage user. So here we have the user who is now speaking up on the stage and I'll be able to moderate the scene as a moderator, move them back into the audience, which makes it really useful for Q and A's and other events just like that. By the way guys, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the new cool Discord features. Let's get back into the video. So now before I get into some of the cool stuff, let's go over how the permission settings in stage channels actually work. So just like a normal channel, you'll see that we can actually create permissions. However, they're a little bit different because we don't have some of the other voice channel features like voice activity. But what we can do is we can allow users to manage channels, manage the permissions and connect, mute or move. So basically all the permissions to become a moderator per sorts are available in the stage channel. Further, we can allow the request for people to speak by enabling this little setting over here. And as you can see I'm gonna request all the users who are listening here to raise their hand and as you can see it'll show up on this right hand side over here and we can accept them and invite them to speak up on the stage. So now that you all know about how state channels work, let's briefly discuss some cool things you can do in your community server to engage your users and get them to be more active. 
So my server recently hosted something called a large creator Q&A. And essentially, since our server is about YouTubers, we allowed some YouTubers to come in who are large on the platform and speak about their experiences and have some of the smaller creators ask them questions. So this was really engaging and we got a ton of active users who are interested in participating in these sorts of events. So if you want to do a Q&A, this type of channel is really excellent for that. Another type of thing you could do is a karaoke. You can have a moderator who's modding the karaoke and then have people who want to participate and want to sing raise their hand and you can invite them up onto the stage. Something that I think is really important is engaging with the community, asking them questions, asking them about how they feel about the server. And you can actually do that really easily in stage channels. All you have to do is every month or every week, open up a stage channel, invite the users to join in, and they will gladly participate because a lot of people love to be a part of the community and this is a really excellent way you can interact with them. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about state channels. With that, I'll see you in the next video.